Welcome to my Mathematics Tutorials. The tutorials which will be presented in this series will focus on many of the important topics relevant to students worldwide. The series of lessons will be known as Maths with Jacob. As you can see here, Jacob's qualifications are extensive and he has had the pleasure and the privilege of teaching for 41 years in various schools. Before each lesson, a special puzzle will be included to warm up the brain cells. The answer will be provided at the end of each lesson. Enjoy. Puzzle 1. What word or description can be associated with the following? Think about it carefully and good luck. Topic 1 for today involves computation laws. And the first law is the commutative law for addition. That tells us that if you add two numbers together, A plus B, you will derive the same answer if you add B plus A. So you can have the numbers in any order. For example, if you add 3 and 4 together, and you add 4 and 3 together, you get the same answer of 7. The commutative law for multiplication is similar, except it, it does involve multiplication. You can multiply two numbers, A and B, in any order, and you'll arrive at the same answer. So if you multiply 5 and 6 together, that gives you the same answer as multiplying 6 and 5 together, and that answer is 30. The associative law for addition tells us that if you are adding three numbers together, you can combine the B and C together and add A, or you can combine the A and B together and add C. So if you add 3 plus 4 plus 5, you can combine the 4 plus 5 together to give you 9. You can combine the 3 plus 4 together to give you 7. And then we have 3 plus 9, 7 plus 5, and they both equal 12. The associative law for multiplication tells us that if you multiply three numbers together, you can combine the B and C together and multiply those, and then multiply that answer by A, or you can combine the A and the B together, and you multiply the product of those two by C. So if you're multiplying 2 times 3 times 4, that will be the same as multiplying 3 times 4, that gives you 12, and then you multiply that answer by 2, or you can multiply 2 times 3 to give you 6, and then you multiply that answer by 4. So 2 times 12 is the same as 6 times 4, and that equals 24. The distributive law. If you have a number A, and then you have brackets, and you have B and C inside the brackets added together, you can do the following. You can multiply the A and the B together to give you AB, that's the product of A and B, and then you multiply the A and the C together to give you AC, and there's the addition sign. So that addition sign is this one here. So if you're multiplying 5 outside of 3 plus 4, 5 times 3, which is this part, 5 times 4, which is this part, there's the addition sign, 5 threes are 15, 5 fours are 20, 15 plus 20 gives you 35. Order of operations without brackets. If you have an expression involving addition, subtraction, multiplication and division, you must perform the multiplication and division first. After that, perform the addition and subtraction from left to right. Here's a simple example. If you have 6 and you are adding that to the product of 2 and 4, you must perform this part first. 2 times 4 gives you 8. There's your addition sign and there's your 6. 
6 plus 8 gives you 14. Slightly more involved example, we have to do the multiplication first, here and here. 6 threes are 18, 5 twos are 10. All the signs have been carried down. 4 plus 18 gives you 22. 22 plus 7 gives you 29. Minus 10. Minus 10. And 29 minus 10 is 19. In a similar manner, we must do the division first, and then we do the multiplication. 40 divided by 8 gives you 5. 2 times 3 is 6. All the signs have been carried down. 18 plus 5 gives you 23. And there's your 6. 23 minus 6 gives you 17. Order of operations with brackets. If you have an expression to solve and brackets are contained in it, simplify all the calculations in the brackets first. Then follow the normal rules as stated earlier. For example, if you have this involved computation, we focus on the brackets first. Now, 6 divided by 3, that gives you 2. 2 times 5 gives you 10. Now, we still have the brackets here. We've only made an initial simplification. Now, 11 minus 2 gives you 9. So, that's the first bracket solved. And 4 plus 10, that's 14. Now, these operations are carried down as per normal. 8 plus 9 gives you 17. And here is your 14. 17 minus 14 gives you 3. In the next lesson, the next lesson will explain the concept of directed numbers, a very, very important concept in mathematics. We will also focus on how to add, subtract, multiply, and divide directed numbers. The answer to puzzle one is reading between the lines. How did you go? If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and you will receive a notification as to when the next video is available. Hope to see you next lesson and bye for now.